All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 353, Christ, Isis, Higher Soul Culture. Now, this is a climber work, so this comes from the uh, Rosy Cross Illuminati backdrop climber. It was a very uh, interesting individual. He was very good at branding, uh, and of course, if you're using the term Illuminati in the sense of some dark, shadowy occult group, you're basically, <laughs> I think you're getting it from Clymer more than you are from the Bavarian Illuminati hundreds of years before, roughly 150 or so. Anyway, link in the description to my edition of this work on Amazon. Second and third links to my books, blogs. This will go into the spirituality header again. I haven't broken the Hermeticism, Rosicrucianism, Freemasonry, Theosophy stuff from that category with the Kabbalah and, and religious study. Uh, my blogs will need work when I'm done with the current round of editing. That's, I keep putting it off <laughs> for like four years. I will eventually get around to it. I'll do my best. Anyway, it's a very interesting work and, and a separate work, uh, which was, uh, I, I can't remember the name of it, actually lists uh, this work as the specific second year main guide for people who joined the Temple of the Illuminati, which was his group at the time. Uh, interesting work. It talks mainly about this concept of Christ Isis. Now, it talks about it variously as though it's semi-corporeal, uh, labeling it a savior, etc., ex externalizing it, and also an internal concept. That is, that through proper, proper living, um, proper diet, proper breathing, meditation, nonviolence, mostly Eastern ways, although essentially mashing them together with the more positive Christianity side of things. So, so Clymer stresses belief in Jesus Christ and the one true God of the Christians. But most of the practices are Eastern derivations and adaptations of Western lore. So he lumps those together and, and stresses that through this proper uh, type of living, this proper way of thinking, etc., you improve the soul, that ascent is possible, and this uh, carries on to the point where all of culture can ascend. He talks about this using the term Christ Isis. So you've got this, you've got Jesus, the Savior, and you've got Isis, the rejuvenator, uh, reanimator sort of concepts, and, and he has made them twain. Again, though, he does insinuate that there's an externalized force, that, that this Christ Isis as a being, quite literally, I guess, <clears throat> as a semi-corporeal form, eventually becomes the next savior, and the new age comes. The idea is that man, and, and he's written about this separately, man no longer needs to get sick, man no longer needs to die, man can, can use advanced mental and psychic even uh, capabilities, you can heal other people. All of these biblical gifts, they, they've fallen out of the world due to the decay of culture, but there will come a time in which those miracles literally come back. They will be able to be accomplished by people who are following right living. And he subjugates this again to Christianity, frequently alluding to the Bible as well in here, in many of his works, um, specifically alluding to that, but it also has this Eastern slash even quasi-Egyptian sort of methodology behind it. It's an interesting work that would probably not be down your alley if you're in more of an Orthodox Christian, I, not Orthodox as in the Orthodoxy, but Orthodox as in like a mainline Christian, you probably won't agree with many of the summations here. Uh, but if you are interested in the occult or you're more of a liberal Christian, uh, yeah, I, I can see you'd probably like it. These days, most Christians don't fear yoga. Uh, they don't think they'll be possessed if they meditate, etc., uh, because clearly that's not real. Uh, and so it is a really good work. And, and again, if you believe in the Illuminati thing, this was <laughs> the literal second year work for the Temple of the Illuminati, according to Clymer and his particular derivation, his particular interpretation of the uh, Enlightenment era uh, Bavarian Illuminati sort of philosophy. So again, link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon. It is highly recommended. It was well written in all honesty. Second and third links to my books, blogs, 97 pages. So it's intermediate again, compressed down from like 200 pages. That typically happens with works of this particular era of manufacture. Everyone loved to double space things. I'm wondering about the, uh, the state of people's uh, eye care in the late 1800s and early uh, 20th century. That's about all. Peace out.